Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will be animating still images inside of DaVinci Resolve. I made a video on this previously. We did this using uh, depth maps. In this video, we are going to be animating things like fire, smoke, water, stuff like that uh, to make our scene more realistic. You can combine my previous video, you know, you can combine that um, techniques that I showed in that video with the techniques that I will show you in this video and you can come up with some really cool results that will definitely win you an Oscar worthy animation. <laughs> so yeah, without wasting any time, let's get started. I'll be using this image uh, that I got from uh, this link from this ArtStation page. I should definitely um, check out this page and uh, like the artist. Uh, this is really cool image and yeah, let's uh, animate this image. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a displacement map or a flow map for uh, this fire uh, that is coming out from the dragon's mouth. And to do that, we have to drag in a background node like so and add in a paint animated paint system or paint node to this and what we can do in that next is that after the media in which is the image we will add in a displacement to this and i will actually increase the strength nothing will really happen and uh, we will just connect the paint to the displace like so and now whatever changes you make to the paint mask it will be applied to this displace so over here in my paint system over here I have selected by default it selects the multi stroke and if you draw it you'll see that we are actually distorting the image like so instead of using a grid warp or something like that I think this is a much elegant method if you want to you know liquefy or distort images uh, you can see that we have this distortion and you can control the amount of distortion by uh, you know by using this refraction strength slider so this is why i increased it to a high value because i wanted to show you what we are doing over here and the thing with the multi-line stroke is multi-stroke not multi-line multi-stroke is that it disappears after the frame that you draw it on so i have created this paint mask on frame 144 it will only be visible on frame 144 and not on any other frame you can see like that so that's the problem with the multi-stroke uh, what we are going to do instead is we are going to be using let's just reset this we are going to be using a stroke over here so click on that and let's go again right so uh, let's draw the mask again and just kind of change the look of fire that is coming out from the dragon's mouth and I think that is pretty sufficient if you take a look at it this is how it looks and if you move around you can see that it stays there forever it will not disappear and that's why we are using the stroke option great so now if you go back I'm going to reduce the refraction strength um, in fact I'm going to just set this to zero so we set this to zero our image will be as it was before no animation at all we will create a keyframe there and let's go to the last frame and increase the refraction strength and once you increase it you will notice that we have a animating we are we are animating the fire basically like so uh, now you can notice that we have this let's say this is too much refraction in our scene and we can fix this by adding a blur after the paint and let's just increase the blur amount like so and now we'll reduce that artifact or that refraction that was in the image great so what you can do is in the displace as well you can animate the center x and y by create a keyframe at frame zero go forward in time to the last frame and i can just change the position like so and this will also create a really cool result all right uh, but yeah the choice is completely up to you i think this is too much refraction at the moment let's just reduce that 
to 0 0.3 and you can also notice that the guy on the horse or the knight over here is kind of getting squished and to fix this we can add in a polygon mask to this display and just mask out this fire like so messed up the mask a little bit that's all right we can modify it anytime like so great so once you do that you can increase the soft edge a little bit and that will kind of create a shield around our guy over here the knight over here and the fire coming out from the dragon's mouth will not melt this guy away <laughs> Once you are happy with that, then we can move forward with our next step, which is I want to sort of create a effect where this ground muddy looking thing is coming up from the ground, right? So I want to move it up. And to do this, we will add in another paint after this, of the background. And let's connect it to a new display so after the displace one we will add in displace two and we will connect paint two to displace two like so and again in the displace two i will increase the strength so that we can see what we are doing in the paint two we will again make sure we are on the stroke and let's just just go to brush size over here and reduce the size a little bit and just simply paint around like so all right be something like this cool so now we can go to the displace over here and the refraction is too much so let's go to the very first frame and set this to zero no refraction create a keyframe and let's go to the end and we will change the refraction actually i'm going to set this to negative this time so once you do that, you can see that things gonna things are gonna move up like so. And I can go back to paint to at any time and I can add more to this map that we are creating over here. So let's select this one as well. So there you go. We are animating it like that. And again, we have this too much refraction going on. We can just smooth that out by adding a blur. Or well, let's just copy and paste this blur like that. And we have this animation going on. All right, so this is how it's going to look. But I don't quite like how it, how it looks. So what I can do is I can go back to the paint at any time. So if I check this out, this is set to white color for now. And if I change the color to black I can invert the changes that I made over here so it's kind of like a Photoshop you paint your mask in and you know create a clipping mask this is something like that so you can reset everything or the small area that you don't want to affect so let's just do that and this will actually get rid of the distortion for you All right so there you have it so i'm gonna just go i'm gonna reset this change the refraction strength quite a bit and let's see we have our paint over here i'm gonna just paint that in like so so we don't have anything all right you know what let's just reset this and i can create another mask over here change the size and this time i'll just select some these little mud elements over here and just move it up like that all right that's it so i'm gonna go back and i'm gonna animate the refraction strength set it to zero go to the last frame and just move it up like that all right, cool so this will just add in a little bit of more more realism to the scene right now the next thing is the clouds the clouds we will add in another displace 
and for this space we will actually use a fast noise so let's uh, drag that in and if you go to the fast noise over here and increase the seeth rate and change the size and all that stuff uh, you'll see that the whole image will kind of have this um, animation but then we want to create a mask and just affect the area where we have clouds in here right so something like this uh, great so i can just copy and paste it and then i can rotate it on the y-axis like so and we have it on the other side now we want to tweak this a little bit so be something like that and there we have it and just delete this great that looks good and we can increase soft edge on both of these so this to 0 0.01 on both of them and then yeah you can just uh, play with the displays over here and you can just control the fast noise c rate so i think this is too intense so let's just reduce that i want to kind of match it with the speed of the fire animation over here so yeah that is pretty much it that's the basics of how you can animate an image you can animate anything that you want like i showed you in the example uh, you can pretty much animate any element that you want and you can use depth maps as well and create a really cool looking animation out of it so i hope this video is helpful i hope it will help you in your up upcoming projects if you found this video helpful do me a favor and leave a like and also subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching see you guys in the next one